It's been eight years since Vegas has knocked down a big building and we are in for a treat. The Trop Drop will be the rare double implosion. And that means the implosion guy will, of course, be there. Fox 5's Dave Hall has more. Well, as you guys know, Las Vegas is famous for a lot of things, neon, showgirls, all these amazing casinos we build, and then we, we knock them down. Las Vegas is the implosion capital of the world, and one local man has had a front row seat to almost all of them. He used to be a local TV news reporter, but now he has a lot cooler job. He is the implosion guy. Don't let those khaki pants fool you. Steve Krupe doesn't mind doing some dirty work. In fact, he loves it. Armed with goggles, a hard hat, a mask, and his microphone, Krupe reported live for 15 Vegas implosions. The idea of me as the implosion guy just happened purely as a lark. I mean, my news career in Las Vegas began right at that time in 1993 when the first big implosion happened with the dunes coming down in October of 1993. An estimated 200,000 people watched the dunes fall that October night. And just like that, Vegas had a new attraction. The Strip Implosion was born. From the dunes to the frontier, Aladdin to the sands, Krupe was there. People would see me around town, and I wasn't famous enough that they'd say, hey, that's Steve Krupe. Mm -hmm. They would say, hey, you're the implosion guy. <laughs> because they would watch me on the air doing the live countdown. Krupe loved being on the front lines of all the implosions and says the Aladdin was extra special. Each one is different. Each one is magical in its own way. But my favorite truly is the most magical of them all, and that was the Aladdin Hotel. It happened on my birthday in 1998. This was a tricky job. The Aladdin Theater was connected to the main tower and they wanted to preserve it. So engineers had to blow up one building while not damaging the other. They needed it to drop nice and soft. Thankfully it did. And by the way, that theater is still open today. Not every implosion though has gone that smooth. One was the Hacienda Hotel. That was a big network uh, telecast on Fox on New Year's Eve. And when the dust and smoke cleared, big section of the building still standing there had to be brought down by wrecking ball the next next day. It's been eight years since Vegas has knocked down a big building and we're in for a treat. The Trop Drop will be the rare double implosion. Once they press that button to set off the charges, it's going to take a total of 22 seconds, we're told. The first tower will go down, then there'll be a pause, the dust will settle, and then the second tower will go down. You better believe the implosion guy will be there, and uh, he has some good advice for the rest of us. Leave your nice clothes at home. Have you ever had to go home and immediately shower because you've got dust all over you? Uh, I've ruined a few suits, that's for <laughs> sure. So uh, as the implosion guy was talking about, we got two towers to knock down. So the first tower that's going to fall is the one closest to the Las Vegas Strip you see right there. Once that one goes down, just a few seconds later, the second tower will start falling as well. So both towers will kind of fall into each other there and land in the middle. The entire process, we're being told, should take no more than 30 seconds. So it's going to be quick, uh, a lot of buildup, and it's going to go fast. Uh, we haven't had one of these implosions in eight years here in Las Vegas. So yeah. Yeah, it's pretty exciting and also, you know, a lot of people a little melancholy as we officially say goodbye to the Tropicana. All right, reporting near the Tropicana, last time I'll do so, uh, I'm Dave Hall, back to you guys.